So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a sticky base. And these are really, really good eyesh eyeshadows. So this base is just going to make them even more amazing. And the base I'm using is NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I always do my eyes first when I do eyeshadow because I blend all over my face. And you're going to want to make sure to blend this out and make sure the coat that you have up here is nice and even. Otherwise, you could make your eyeshadow skip and look chunky and be inconsistent. And you don't want that. So the first color that I'm going in with is Stone, and it's a really, really pale green. Try not to take this too far underneath your crease. Try not to take it all the way into your brow highlight color. I mean, you can go back in later and fix it. But if you don't have to, um, it's best. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with the color Savannah. I'm gonna show you these colors in a second. And you're gonna blend this underneath the first color and not past it, and not equal to it. Okay, you're gonna keep it lower. I'm gonna keep it right underneath. I'm going to go in with Fata Morgana next, which is more of a teal, and that's going to bring this look in a completely different feel of greens. It's going to be way more of a warm green right now. These are somewhat cool leafy greens. Fata Morgana is kind of more of a warm teal shade. I really wanted to try something different, so I said... Let me just go in and use a whole bunch of these green shades that I've never used before. It would probably be less than likely to use. I want stone to be peeking out a little bit, but a little bit less than it is. So I'm blending it a little bit higher and a little bit closer to the bottom of my brow bone. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with Fata Morgana, and this is kind of a tealy shade, more of a teal shade. And I'm gonna blend that right underneath all the other colors. It's definitely a lot darker, and it's gonna give this look a lot of depth. So I'm just making sure to keep it in the shape that I want it to be. Now I'm just coming along the edges. On the lid, I'm gonna be using a very pretty sparkly color. I'm going back into Savannah to fill this little space right here, blending out the edges. So this is Python. What I love is that these colors are like right one on top of each other as far as tone, um, depth, but very different, but blending really nicely and giving a very beautiful smoky. I wanted this to be something editorial in color palette. So right now I have Python. I'm gonna go on the edges of this look and really feather it. Just softening the edges. I'm gonna go back in with Savannah and come in here and fill in any space. So I think what I wanna do, I'm gonna go in with Python on this pencil brush and create more depth in the inner tear duct of my eye. Going in with Savannah and blending it upward. On the lid, I'm going in with Aurora 
And I'm bringing it up a little high just to give my eye a little of an opening. Oh my God, that's so pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet my brush and I'm gonna go in a little bit more with that first sparkly green color because it's popping. As soon as I hold up something white in the camera and I can't see what it says, I know that my lighting is washed out. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Foundation, Shameless Foundation in Y570. I've really been liking this foundation a lot lately. I'm gonna take that on a small head blender. I really love this Marc Jacobs Foundation. Thank you guys for tuning in. When I'm done with this look, um, let me take a nap. No. So next I'm going to go in with Too Faced and this is their Born This Way. And this is in Toffee and this is the perfect color for the center of my face. I like it because it matches the center tone of my face. And it also has a little bit of color correcting properties in it because it's kind of orangey. And um, I really like um, this foundation because it is also for matte skin and it dries down. It's for oily skin and it dries down. And with a gem blender, get up close. So now we're gonna go in, thank you honey, with the palest tone to give my face highlights. And what I'm gonna do, I do the little lines around my mouth um, to get the little crevices around my muzzle area where I have indentations. And then I like to come up under my eye. I'm gonna come very close and you want to blend it to make sure it gets into the fine lines. Everybody has fine lines under their eye for the most part. It's not an age thing, it's just a being a live human thing. Sometimes it can be age, but if you do have it, don't feel like it's just because of age. It's going to really help to give my face some definition. As you can see, this side already looks elevated. Come around here. And blend it out. Okay, for my contour, I'm gonna go in with Ebony, and this is from LA Girl. It's a pro matte foundation. I love to contour with a cream because it looks more like bone structure. And then I'll go in with a powder on top of it. And this is a mattifying cream, so you don't have to worry about it feeling like your face is so heavy with creamy products, it mats down and um, it just looks really good. I'm gonna go in and set my under eye using Dermal Blend in Warm Saffron, as always. So I'm gonna let this sit for a few seconds. You guys always ask me about transfer and different things like that. If you're setting your makeup with a foundation, chances are you're experiencing transfer. I've said this before and a lot of you guys are like, oh my God, I'm doing that. And it's just like, yeah, sis. Don't set your foundation with a foundation. Um, not all over. So the first color I'm gonna go in with is Bronzeville, and I'm gonna take this on a fluffy brush. No, this is Chocolate Liddy. So since this is Chocolate Liddy, I'm gonna use this as my contour bronzer, and I'm going to take an angled brush, if I can find it. So this is Chocolate Liddy. I'm gonna go in with a fluffier brush. Kind of blend that out a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with Bronzeville, which is a little bit lighter, and I'm gonna use this. I'm 
on the sides of my face and kind of up my cheeks a little bit. Now I'm going to take my brush and dip it into my Derma Blend powder a little bit and kind of come in here and blend this out a little bit more. I got a little carried away. Blend it out. Translucent powder. Help everything to blend it out. Calm it down a little bit. Setting my makeup with my Lancome. I'm going to go in with a little bit of this Jumbo Milk Pencil. And then I'm going to blend it down a little bit. And this is going to be for the other eyeshadows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this LA Girl palette with this kind of pale shimmery blue. And that's going to be the blend out color. There's all types of blues going on right now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to blend that out with a fluffy blender. Right? And then this dark blue green color, which is Fata Morgana. I'm going to take that on a detailed brush and wiggle that into my lash line. And then we're going to blend that all together to kind of bring it back down to Mars. I hate to see an under eye that isn't rooted or doesn't have a grounding color. Sometimes it's the aesthetic, but I just, ugh, I'm always like, you need a darker tone under there to bring it back down to Mars. And uh, that is what I'm doing with Fata Morgana. All the way out to the edge. And then I'll probably even go in with a little bit of Python to really bring those colors in together. Oh my god, and my card is about to be full, which really sucks. There is no way you could mistake. The I know that you may be just be jealous of me. The I tried to take. All right, guys, as you can see, the look is done. I went in and I added some Barbie lashes from 11lashes.com, some mascara, some lip liner from J. Amir Cosmetics and Coco, and then the lip gloss I'm using is Urban Decay 1999. The information on everything used will be in the bottom bar if you like this wig. This is the FLW32 from wowafrican.com. Use code DESTINY15 for a discount, honey. I hope you like this look. Um, yeah, I hope you like this look. It was not simple. I'm not going to say that. Um, it was kind of simple, but um, I definitely stepped out of my comfort zone with the color combinations and different things like that. Um, and before you guys read my wig, it is not applied. It is just glued on each corner. That is it. That's all. That's all I had time to do. Okay. I, I, you know, I had a lot of things to do today. I did not apply this wig, but I will be applying it properly and coming back and showing you guys how I do so very simply as well. But yeah, all information on this look will be below. Oh my God, in this highlight, this is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Palette Powder in Starlit. I absolutely love this. Oh my God, look at that golden, beautiful, subtle, Highlight. I like a highlight. You really can't tell where it starts, where it begins. It's just effortless. It is blended well. It looks natural. It doesn't have lines of demarcation. I, I just love it. Um, more information on everything used below. Um, I use two Natasha Denona palettes and an LA Girl palette to create this look. And if that is not the definition of high-low, I don't know what is, honey. Links below. I can't stop touching his hair. I feel like a 90s thot, honey. Give me a leather jacket. Give me some little shorts, some boots. 
Um, yes, big knockers, blonde hair, 90s thought. Or should I say Gucci? Gucci? Gucci. I love it. Yes. Okay.